thought that pink one, it actually broke. But it was fairly strong, eh? Even the scissors went apart. But just the way that thing looked, it looked like the real thing, eh? Oh, so, so, so dry looking, or so dry looking. But it's actually, I wonder if that actually gets there, but it's going to be a bit more work. And so, maybe um, metal powder impregnated in plastic is actually stronger. And it actually bumps up to metal. So that's actually got metal powder in it. And like, I looked at the prices. And still, it's only doing it to feel like you can just afford it, eh? I could even just afford to possibly make it solid. But I guess it failed the strength test, but it's not over for it. <laughs> but <coughs> next time we do it, I'm going to um, solidify it more. So when I put the aluminium powder, I actually slid apply it for long, long, low temperature. And so that means when you set it, the directions is you have to set it on low for a long time to get rid of some of that extra water. And then when it's nice and solid, then you get less. And then maybe that copper is disconnected. And it actually is a polymer. But it's a polymer that has a copper leaf in it. So I'll have to see what it is. It looks like that could be good. Uh, and it's not bad pricing. You can count the whole thing, including the crap in it. But it's just copper powder with a hidden point of crap in it. But I might be able to connect that copper. And so I thought I was going to get connected iron, but if you get connected copper, that can be just as good. And then it nearly took the hammer out, right? so you that if you have copper power and red plastic, it does improve the strength. Yeah. But it's funny, this is my thought. 